Hey guys, so Kwabo, welcome to my channel. This is Nana again. I know I have been gone for a few weeks and I am so sorry for that because I'm usually here once a week, but I literally have a video, um, I have a space for doing videos and my blog like this much. Like I, I don't have a lot of space now, but I am trying to make it so sorry for that. And welcome to my new subscribers. There has been about three, four hundred of you that have subscribed in the past three weeks i don't know who shared the video what is going on but thank you guys so much and i hope you stay here um if today's your first time here i have a lot of categories a lot of playlists on my youtube so i want you to go and watch them but today we're doing csc which means coffee shop chat and this is my books and book reviews that we do it is spring 2017 so we're gonna get into some books that i have read and things that i want you to cozy up to and the first book today is dear ijewale or a feminist manifesto by who i call godmother Chimamanda Adichie. She brought a new book out. So we're going to talk about that and I'll tell you um, other things I want you to read. So keep watching. And I hope the camera will capture it for you to see. It is called Dear Ijewale, if I got the name right, or A Feminist Manifesto in 15 Suggestions. I always butcher names on here on this channel. So if you're new, get used to it. So this is a, um, I actually read this because I follow her on Facebook a few months ago. She actually put up a, an extremely long Facebook post. Um, and it was about something, a letter that she had written to her friend because her friend just had a baby. And then I turn around and a few weeks later, she has a book out. I mean, it is such a good book. And as usual, the tradition, I'm going to read a chapter or page from it. And then we will go through all right so we're gonna start this book comes in 15 points 15 suggestions um that chimamanda who is known to be a very um big feminist icon wants women or people in general just to know about how to raise your daughters how to raise your sons in a way that you know makes the world kind of balanced make the world equal i yes i am a feminist i consider myself a moderate but there are so many different things that you're going to read when you get into this book. Um, you know how it is nowadays with all this rape talk and the consent and household domestication. Who does what? Who pays for what? It is such a big, 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 big topic now that everybody around the world now is discussing. So I am so appreciative of her for writing this book. But let's get into the book right now. Dear E.J. Walu, what joy. What lovely names. Chizalum, Adora. She is so beautiful, only a week old, and she already looks curious about the world. What a magnificent thing you have done, bringing a human being into the world. Congratulations feels too slight. You not make me cry. You know how I get foolishly emotional sometimes. Please know that I take your charge, how to raise her a feminist very seriously. I understand what you mean by not always knowing what the feminist response to situations should be. For me, feminism is always contextual. I don't have a set in stone rule. The closet I the closest I have to a formula are my two feminist tools, and I want to share them with you as a starting point. The first is your premise, the solid unbending belief that you start off with. What is your premise? Your feminist premise should be, I matter, I matter equally, not if only, not as long as, I matter equally, full stop. So this is a book, I am, it is such a, mm-hmm, it's like one of those things that Oprah calls having an aha moment. <laughs> when you read this, you feel like, oh. She has a, something in this book that she calls a femi feminism light, where a group of women claim to be feminists, but they're also kind of, you know, trying to put in patriarchy and all this stuff into it. They don't know exactly where they belong. But these are just suggestions for you. If you want to get Dear E.J. Wadi, I think you should. One thing I like about this book, it's very small. 
it's very small you can fit it in your pocketbook you can fit it everywhere so this is my number one recommendation for spring 2017 and let's move on to the rest another boot by Chimamanda this is called half of a yellow sun this might I think this one came after purple hibiscus um, I think purple hibiscus was her first book um, and this is the second one this is my favorite movie it was adapted into my favorite movie on Netflix half of a yellow sun it features my favorite couple Odenigbo and I don't remember the girl's name but Odenigbo is like my favorite male character in a book that I have read so far he is like it's almost like I know him you know this is um, the book half of a yellow sun also by Chimamanda you can check that out and I also don't know if we talked about the perfect find on here by Tia Williams um, it is also a very good book good for the spring for good for the summer if you're going on vacation if you're staying behind whatever it is that you're doing make sure you read a perfect find see it is a lot of pages so you're gonna have a good time reading this and I got Trevor Noah's book called born a crime trevor noah is a south african comic who is now the host of the daily show here in the united states he's made like a remarkable success from being a stand-up comic to being a late night tv host it is just amazing and he is part swiss and part south african his father is um uh european and her, his mom is south african and he was born during apartheid so it is a very interesting read i started i haven't finished yet so i can't really get into it but i would recommend for you at least try to read like two out of the four books that i've recommended to you dear ej wale is a must read you can get it everywhere that books are sold i'm sure so make sure you do that and also if you have any book suggestions or anything uh, some of you send me well actually i think two people have written books who watch this channel and they want me to review it so i will also bring that self promote yourself in the comment section it is okay with me but let me know if you read any of the books and if you're interested in any of them or um how you felt reading the book so other people can you know be encouraged to go get the books and read wide so thank you guys um subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video i will be back here every week saturday 10 a.m eastern standard time my name is nana i'll catch you later take care